Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could see far into the future and realize that we would be in a time of a global family where a word from Arabia needed to reach Africa and Asia and America and the islands and he created these things for that purpose. <laughs> Dunya ke kinaro tak pohcha It is thus that in this day and age, especially for the young generation, these are the tools of Quran. And by Allah's grace, through radio and television and satellite and this MTA system we have here and the internet, the Holy Quran is reaching all of us by God's grace and we should take advantage of these devices and the blessing of these devices and these technologies to bring the Quran into our lives. <laughs> MTA's that living sign of the truth of Hazrat Mr. Ma'ud and it's that grand gift of Allah Ta'ala and sustenance of khilafat e haqqa which cannot be a result of any human effort. It's a light. It's the most beautiful, bright white light that anyone could ever, ever imagine. Since its humble beginnings from a small studio in the Fazl Mosque, um, we're now broadcasting on over three channels. We answer to our Imam and we answer to one God and that is something that no other, no other channel can do except MTA. MTA is privileged to be under the direct guidance and supervision of Hadrat Khalifa al al Aziz. Seeing that firsthand um, definitely strengthens your faith and definitely has an impact, and it actually makes you realize how fortunate we are to be working in such an organization which is so closely linked to Khilafat. You can imagine if back 1400 years ago the Holy Prophet Muhammad had pulled out one of these gadgets from his pocket and said one day every single word of revelation will, will be contained in this in a human voice and will travel far and wide throughout the world. Imagine what people would have thought if they had seen one of those gadgets. They would have thought it was sheer madness. How can a stone, a piece of metal speak and contain the word of God? But we look back now and we laugh and we understand all oh, their sheer ignorance of the power of God to convey his word. The staff in MTA, be it a volunteer, a full-time worker or a Rukhino, all have the passion to portray the true message of Islam. Within our team, uh, we have so many different backgrounds and we're all striving for a common cause, a common, a common goal, a common good. Um, you'll see volunteers from all walks of life, whether they're doctors or lawyers or students. It's not the same every day, so the team needs to be ready for that. And that's what Joshua and Jazbe is doing with him. He has been closed by him, and when he has been closed by him, and by the grace of Allah, the department is working like clockwork. Thus, as we look at all these machines and gadgets and inventions and technology nowadays, they were not created just for communication or education or stimulation of the human mind. Their purpose was much grander than that. Their purpose was to enable the beautiful message of the Holy Quran to reach every single habitation, every single home, every single human heart in this day and age. Allah Ta'ala has said that I will reach you to the ground of your ground. 
जो किस शान से पूरा फरमाया है 